so there's a lot of people who love getting their new Lenovo and everything, but are disappointed about the amount of hard drive space they had left. So Lenovo came out with a hot fix. I got a little later model, and I had a little more space than other people, but I still thought I'd go ahead and run the uh, hot fix that I downloaded the other day. If you watched the video that Jordan talked about downloading drivers from Lenovo site, you know that I downloaded all the drivers. I put them on my system and everything. I renamed them all. So you go watch that video if you're not uh, too sure about that. But I went ahead and go ahead and put them in my public directory and uh, put them under a new directory called Lovo. And there they all are, named with their type of what it is and their version number. Again, go watch that other video. But there's the hot fix that I downloaded. So we're going to run that. Of course, it's going to reboot the system, and I'm not going to show it running the capture program while this hotfix is going on because I don't want to endanger the hotfix. So we're just going to go ahead and run it, and we're going to come back later on. But first, we're going to go look at the system, and you'll see that I have a 92.9 gigabyte hard drive space left. I've already loaded some applications, but that's going to be the key because that D drive is going to disappear. And uh, Lenovo does a few other things to tweak it and everything. So let's go take a look and uh, see what happens after I run the hotfix. So here we are, we're back after doing the hot fix, and we're going to go take a look at the drive structure now. So if we switch on over to our main directory, you see there's only one Windows OS, and it's got 100 gigabytes. So I've picked up from 92.9 .9 to that, so about 7 gig I, I reclaimed as uh, space. Uh, so now the D backup did move the drivers over there, so the, it's now in a subdirectory called drivers. While we picked up that little additional space, we also lost some space in that uh, that same space that was occupied. It's now moved over there, so it's at 46 gigs of occupied space. So we only picked up about four. So we're going to go look at the disk manager again. We're going to go into here, and we're going to say, oh, look, here's what it, what's left is the Windows 8 OS disk and everything and your partitions and all that. There's a couple other partitions out here. I'm not exactly sure what some of them are. One of them is your, your original software storage. I know that for a fact. Uh, but there's still a lot of, many, lot of uh, partitions out here. But the hotfix did consolidate a couple things. So he picked up a little bit of space. And that's how you run your hotfix. Now, a couple words of caution. First, have it plugged in. You never want to have, just like in a BIOS update, you never want your laptop to go dead during a critical system update like this. Second, have whatever files. If you put some files somewhere that you, maybe on the D drive, make sure they're backed up. They should move, but I would not uh, guarantee it. Make sure you have your files backed up. Lastly, they say that you're going to run about 10 minutes. It only took about two on mine. It'll be faster or slower depending upon your system. But uh, don't be afraid. Don't be shocked by all the stuff going on. Uh, just let it run uh, to the end and you'll pick up a little space on your Lenovo.